In this video, we are going to review adding and subtracting of fractions in order to establish some patterns we can use in order to add and subtract rational expressions. You may remember to add or subtract fractions, we build up the denominator by multiplying numerator and denominator by the missing factors so that we have a common factor or least common denominators. Let's take a look at an example. In this problem, you may notice we have denominators of 20 and 15. 20 can be factored to 4 times 5, and 15 can be factored to 3 times 5. The least common denominator is then made up of all of the factors, 4 times 5, times 3. There is no need to list the 5 twice, as we already have it in our LCD. To build up our denominators, we will multiply by what's missing on both top and bottom. You see, this first fraction is missing the factor of 3. So I will multiply numerator and denominator by 3, which gives us 15, over 3 times 4 times 5, which is 60, plus the second fraction, you notice, is missing a factor of 4 from the LCD. So we will factor, multiply the numerator and denominator by 4 to get 28 over 3 times 5 times 4, which is 60. Now that we have common denominators, we're allowed to add the numerators. 15 plus 28 is 43 over 60. Let's take a look at another problem, where we're asked to subtract with different denominators. In this problem, we see the different denominators of 14 and 10. We can factor them to see what factors are missing from each denominator. 14 is 2 times 7, and 10 is 2 times 5. This means, for our least common denominator, we need the factors 2, 7, and 5. No need to list 2 again, it's already part of the LCD. We will now multiply each fraction by what it's missing. 2, 7, and 5, the first fraction is missing a 5. We multiply by 5 in the numerator and denominator. 5 times 8 is 40, over 5 times 2 times 7 is 70 minus this second fraction is missing the factor of 7. So we will multiply by the missing factor 7 in both the numerator and denominator. 3 times 7 is 21, over 2 times 5 times 7, which is 70. We now have a common denominator, so we can subtract 40 minus 21 to get 19 over 70. It is important to notice the pattern we went through in order to s subtract and add these fractions. By factoring the denominators, we could find out what factors were missing from the LCD. Multiplying by the missing factors in both numerator and denominator got us a common denominator, which allowed us to combine the fractions.